exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. Very interesting. That was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make them smell. <laughs> no, right. I would not. think somebody would have noticed that. Right. Well, you would think so. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Well, I was excited to see what temperatures we're talking about tomorrow, Neville, but you got to talk about the wind hand in hand with that. Yeah, that's right. You know, anytime you get a big change, especially if you're going to be either well above normal or well below normal, the wind usually increases. And that's what we're going to see over the next several days. And actually, we have a windy pattern even getting into next week. So we got to get used to this windy weather. Right now, though, sunshine, it's great outside. We're looking over the plaza. We're at 57 degrees. Humidity is low at 37% and our wind it's kind of shifting around right now. It's variable currently at six miles an hour. Here's our temperature setup and we talked about this this morning and then yesterday as well. We were going to be cooler in northern Kansas and Missouri, lower 50s and upper 40s, Maryville over towards Trenton, mid to upper 50s around the metro, 55 in Liberty, 57 for Kansas City and Olathe, 56 for Lee Summit, then warmer south and southwest. Lacine at 63, Garnett 62 for you, 61 for Clinton and Warsaw. Evening plans, we're mostly clear, we're quiet, we'll have an east wind, which will start to increase at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So even though it's not too bad out there, I would still take a jacket as our temperatures cool out of the 50s into the 40s. Wind chills will make it feel more like we're in those upper 30s later on this evening. Actual lows by tomorrow morning, upper 30s. I think we'll start the day off mostly sunny tomorrow, but clouds will increase as we head through the afternoon and our temperatures, they're going to also increase. How about upper 60s to near 70 degrees? So it'll be noticeably warmer for your day on Thursday. I think we're dry if you're heading out to opening day at the K. Again, upper 60s during the afternoon, more of those clouds coming in. And tomorrow's an impact day, mainly because of that wind. We do have a wind advisory, which starts tomorrow afternoon. So put that to those uh, impact icons here on the 12 hour forecast. Those wind gusts, they're gonna be pushing 45 miles an hour tomorrow. I think that wind gets even stronger on Friday. So planning ahead, wind advisory, Thursday and Friday, our sustained wind speeds 25 to upwards of 35 miles an hour. The wind gusts, I think we're pushing 45 miles an hour tomorrow. We might be pushing 55 miles an hour on Friday. So the next couple of days will certainly be windy and we're also monitoring the threat for thunderstorms and even severe weather. And here's what we're thinking right now. So as far as the areas under the greatest threat, where you see the orange on the map, this really hasn't changed a whole lot. So this lines up along 65 Highway, well east of the Metro, Marshall, Sedalia down towards Warsaw. Possibility of severe weather in yellow here for the really the Missouri side of the Metro and areas eastward. And the timing we're thinking midday Friday through the afternoon. So about one o'clock through 5 p.m. Here's future scan. I want to show you what we're talking about here. So overnight Thursday into Friday morning, I know you don't see much of it on here, but there could be a few thunderstorms. If we see any develop Thursday night into early Friday, hail will be the main threat. There also could be some damaging wind as well. But watch as we head closer towards lunchtime and just after. Here's noon, 1, 2 o'clock. There you go. There's that line of thunderstorms we're going to be watching for you. If these storms form, they're going to be quick movers. Here's 2 p.m. And notice they zip on out of here by 4 o'clock in the evening. Possibly a few additional showers could develop later in the day, but I think drier air will move in. So nine day forecast impact day tomorrow because of that wind. Otherwise windy and warm, but 68 degrees your high impact day Friday. The wind continues watching for scattered thunderstorms, a high of 74 blustery and 55 on Saturday. We're back in the 70s Sunday into early next week. Another chance of thunderstorms coming in for next Tuesday.